Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I created this product manipulation right here with Pixel Lab. So with that being said, guys, let's jump right into it. So if you'll be getting access to this as usual, the PLP file, so do well to check the description and um, click on that link and get the PLP file and follow me as I work on this tutorial. So the first thing you need to do, I'll be leaving some of the um, elements I use exactly the way they were. I, I know I'm doing that exactly the way they were because of size. I want yours to be very, very similar to what I'm actually working on. So for the first thing here, this one is actually not necessary, but this starting with this is not necessary but let us see you do this yourself the size is 149 149 so once you've done that all you need to do is to push this all the way make sure this circle is no longer showing this is a sun png make sure the circle is no longer showing so you keep it there and you just leave that at that and you lock that so i'll move this all the way to the back first i'll move this all the way to the back and i'll move my background as well all the way to the back so i think i will leave the coca-cola like this for you guys like i said i don't want to mess with the size of some of the things i did i don't want to mess with some of the size of the things i did so um after doing that let me just disable these layers real quick okay so the coca-cola like i said the coca-cola size is going to be here the coca-cola size is going to be here so since the coca-cola size is here let's jump into the writing which we'll be doing next which is our image so you'll be getting your own image in the maybe standard size so you need to just readjust that the size is 7 12 so i'll just reduce this all the way reduce this all the way okay like it's not a must must be exactly 7 12 Okay, it worked this time. So seven twelve. So centralize it first. Centralize it first. Uh, so I'm moving this down now. I'm moving this down, not to the to this front. Let's move it a bit up. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So I'll just move it one, two, three. Yeah, I think this is okay. Yes, this is okay. Yes, this is okay. So it's already centralized. That's um yes, I think it's centralized already. Yes, it is. So lock this layer. Lock this. So once you've locked that, there was, there's a cloud in front of this. So I'll enable the cloud that is at the front. I'll place it to the front. The cloud size is um twenty one twenty one. The cloud that is facing the front of um this image is twenty one twenty one. And the first thing um I'll do is to centralize it like this. Just make sure it's centralized with the size being twenty one twenty one. Make sure that it is centralized. So I'm going to duplicate the this cloud right now. Where is the copy icon? I'll do this. I'll duplicate this. Hold on. While duplicating this, I'll rotate this to minus twenty two. Hold on. Minus 22, okay, I've gone to, oh, sorry about this, minus 22, and I'll move it all the way to, the 3D rotate is 180, sorry, yes, it's already in 180 already, just make sure the Y axis is in 180, the Y axis are down 20, so once I click on that, I would, um, okay, just position this first one, the way you can see it here, yeah, move it a bit to the top, just centralize it, make sure it's also centralized, do that, do this on the next one, I hope this has not okay yes it has not shifted so let's it be touching you know the tip of the not really the tip let the tip of that coca-cola part be showing and let it be at least a little bit aligned with the with the cloud in front okay i think this is okay i think this is okay i'll copy it again and i'll do this for the um the right cloud i'll copy it and i'll do this for the right cloud and this is actually the same since yes just copy that and rotate this all the way to 19 where is the okay this is it rotate this all the way to 19 yes is that 19 and yes yeah, just like this okay let me move it a bit inside yes this is okay this is okay so let me lock all these layers now so that i won't you know make mistake with um this next time so let's go back to our main design to see what we are doing next after i've done the cloud as at the front the next thing the main thing now is to do this one at the back so before we do that let's um create this blur effect for our background i think it's already here already okay this is it let me move this all the way to the front let me disable the layer. Okay, I can't see it. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, this is it. This is it, guys. So in order to do this, all you need to do is to select a shape, a rectangle shape. Just extend it, extend that shape till it comes out of the page. You can see it. Then go to colors. I've said this many times in my tutorial. Go to colors. The first part should be transparent. Initially, it's going to be a move it all the way to the middle. Click on this drop icon here. Click on whatever color is there. Just move it all the way to the, this third um, bar. Move it all the way to the end. So. Okay, once you've done that, click on OK and select white for the next color that is here and click on OK. So you get this um, effect like this. So you use it for the background. So I'll just place it here on this background. Okay, let's move it a bit here. Just make sure the edges, I mean, the, it comes out on the page. So I'll move it a bit here. It comes to the top, I mean, to the end of that background. I'll copy it again just to blur it. If you have watched my, some of my previous tutorial that you can see on screen, you would know what I'm actually talking about. So I'll just, I think it's okay. Let's just lock the layers because the cloud is going to cover those um, stuff for us. So I'll move them to the back. I'll move the other one to the back. And I'll move the, sorry, I'll move the main background to the back. So uh, yes, you can see it has actually blurred that. 
that um area for us so let's go to the next thing which we have here so the next thing um is our is our clouds right the clouds that are the back the first three clouds that are the back of this um image so let me just duplicate this one in front i'll duplicate this one in front so for the uh clouds that are at the back the size is 128 128 128 128 so i'll increase this increase this increase this increase this 119 just like that it's not must not be one okay like i said it's not must be 128 mine is 129 now so if uh now that it's 129 i'll just place this okay since i'm blessed i can't see this very well so i'll just place this here i think i should put my design in front so i can really see where um but that was a bit high okay it's actually um kind of okay okay i can see it now i can see it it's not exactly down of the coca-cola yes it's a bit down it's not exactly aligned with the main clouds which is in front so i'll place this here and i'll make the um go to color filters and i'll go to the hue increase the way to 180 increase the saturation all the way to 180 so that I can blend with this um this one in front so i'll do this i'll copy it again i'll place it in the middle here i'll place it in the middle there i did, did it three times okay, i think this is a bit high okay just like this like i said let it not be touching this let's not be the same height with the cloud that is on top of these people copy it again place it here okay 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 this is okay let me just place it here let me just place it here now move everything to the back to the back to the back now move the um what is it called let's move this to the back to the back to the back so you can see this the cloud is at the the background when the background is at the back back and the just the blur effect that we did is at the front so you can see this you can see how it's actually it's actually forming it's blending with the um this stuff right now so the next thing is this uh, blur effects also where is it i can't see this here this blur effect that is in front of the the coca cola okay this is it this is it is a white i've also said this in my tutorial how you can actually do this select the circle shape select the circle shape for this once you select the circle shape go to gradient the same way you did the um what's it called the blur effect the background click on plus icon so you select this um gradient format here the one that has to do with the one in the middle then for this ending part here like i said i'm not saying this again how you can make this transparent so for this first part here the color s code is this you can see the color s code here do you have to copy that and move this um transparent format all the way to this place the way you can see just move that way here just move that way here click on okay and click on okay that is okay that's okay P move it all the way to the just this side you are seeing okay the size is um 9191 so move it let's just say yeah okay this is okay i duplicated it again and i moved it all the way yes yes this okay i think this is a bit big now yes this is big so this all the way here okay i think that is that is that okay the size is 50 49 actually okay i think that yeah, hold on the size is 50 49 50 49 50 49 so i'll just reduce that real quick 50 49 okay this is okay for me i'll place it here and um the other one okay sorry it's touching just the edge of the coke that's where she touch the other one is 50 49 okay i think that one will actually look like that Okay, I think I'll not make it. Yes, I'll just leave it like that. 56. Just and the size that is okay. Just work with the size that is okay for these two two areas here. So let's um lock these layers for this. I'll just lock these um layers for this. Let's go back to our main design to see what we are missing. So and now it's time to do the three clouds that are in front of the whole Coca-Cola. So you can see this. Let me lock this. Let me duplicate one of the clouds that is at the back. The ones that are at the back, the bigger clouds. Duplicate this. I would um, disable this U and saturation that we did. Let the cloud be white. So I'll do this for this. Let me just place this here. Place this here one. I said three times, right? So I'll place this here one. I'll copy it. Um two. Okay. I'll copy it. The middle three. Okay, it's actually not a little bit aligned. Okay, it's okay. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay, let me just lock this two layer first. So before doing that, guys, before doing that, guys, let's there is a cloud here. Like I said, the one that we fixed. Yes, this is it. I move this all the way to the okay to the front instead. Since it's fixed, yours should be in the same side. The same side. I'll copy it. I'll move it here. Yes, right here. Yes, right here. Right here. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's okay like this um yes it's okay i think it's okay like this oh, let me just move it a bit to the top okay let me just lock the layers first let me just lock the layers first so after um doing that i'll do the there's another element that is here in your plp file i think it's there okay yes it's here 
I'll move it all the way to the front. Like I said, it's fixed. It's a blur effect. The blur effect is facing this end here. Yeah. This is it. The same blur effect that we did for the one in the calculator. I think the opacity was reduced. Since it's, a, since it's fixed, you just sit there. So you just do have to leave that at that part. And I'll log layer for, for, for this right now. So the next thing I need to do is to import my planes. So where is it? Okay, it's there. My plane is there. So, so for the cloud that we did, yes, this is it. This one here, let's just move this a bit inside. A bit inside, okay. I'll do that. Where's my plane? I'll adjust my plane. I'll adjust my plane. Okay, I can't see my plane. Okay, yes. Okay, it's actually not looking alike very well, but at least it's something. I would um, duplicate this plane again. I'll copy this. And now for the second plane, the second plane size is... um. The second plane size is 19.9. The second plane size is 19.9. Okay, this is it. And it's actually at the front of um, the Coca-Cola blur effect. Okay, yes, which is at the front. And it's at the back of all the front clouds. So I'll just move this to the back of the... You know the front, the clouds that are in front are the ones that we did. Okay, just hold on. It's at the back of all three. I think this one at the front is... Yes, this is it. This is a little bit high. So I'll just do this okay i'll move that down a little bit i'm just readjusting i'm just readjusting so like i said this tutorial will actually take a little time i'll readjust the second one i'll readjust the third part okay i think this is okay with me now i think this is okay so after doing that where is the plane i just did okay it's at the back of all this right so i'll just make this visible okay this is not actually okay it's not working sorry about this guys i'm really sorry about this guys so just hold on Let's work on this. Let's work on this. I, it's the way I actually I, um, rearrange my clouds that is making this to be like this. So I'll just shift this cloud here. I'll shift this cloud here and I'll log layer. I'll shift this other one here. So it's actually not... Oh, sorry about this. So I'll just work on the, my clouds. I'll work on my clouds. I'll move this here. Okay. Let me just log this. Let me log this. This is disturbing me. I'll move this here. The cloud, like I said, is actually not... 100% <laughs> perfect like what I'm actually okay yes I think this is it let's move this I'll move this a little bit to the end the one at the front where is this the one at the front 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 the last cloud which you did which is this I'll just move this let me see my design okay okay yes this is it you can adjust just be readjusting your clouds so they can fit in well with this that is the main thing let's readjust them so they will fit in well with this so I'll just set this here after setting this here Okay, this is okay. It's actually pinning me that I can't really get this part for my um, elements. So I'll bring this cloud, sorry, I'll bring this image to the front of this. Yes, I'll do this. I'll do this for this. I'll do this for this. I'll bring the image all the way here. Okay, this is okay. Yes, this is this is something like this. Okay, this is manageable. This is okay. This is okay. I would um keep this at this. So I'm going to readjust all this later on. I'll copy the um airplane again. I'll increase the size for the one at the front. I'll increase the size. The size is 7739. For this one, I'm increasing 7739. 7739. I'll copy it so it can be clear. I'll delete this one at the back. I'll place it here. You can see the way it is. I'll place this here. Okay, let me take it down a bit. Okay, it doesn't matter. This will blur for me. So I'll just what, what I'm going to do now is to place this at the back of the clouds. So I'll place this at the back of the clouds that's at the front. Where is it? The one the only cloud that's at the front. Yes, this is it. Like I said, we're going to make a little bit of adjustment later on, but let's just see what we're going to do next. So it remains the last airplane. It remains the last airplane. Where is it? Okay, okay, let's just duplicate um any of this. Pick any of the airplane, duplicate it. We use the size. The size um for this. For the fourth airplane is 10, 5. I'll reduce the size 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5. Okay, yes, that's that. You can see where it is from the design. I think somewhere here. Okay, yes, that's okay. Somewhere there. Okay, the, the birds are also 21, 13. The size is 21, 13. Reduce the size and just place it somewhere there. So you can actually see that the it's just the only thing that is uh, making it look a bit um strange is the position of our clouds. So I think we should just work on that real quick. Let's lock all layers for all the airplanes and work on this cloud so that at least it can be something similar to what we have in our design. Just keep on readjusting till you get what is okay with you. 
Tutorial can actually not be 100% perfect, like I said, because the main reason is because they are clouds, so they cannot, they cannot be, um, you know, really, really position like what I actually did before. Because I made, I made a lot of adjustments in the first one. I made lots and lots of adjustments. So I don't want this tutorial to take long. So you can, you know, work on that as your own personal tax by adjusting these clouds. You get what you know actually fits. Take your time. Pause the tutorial. Just adjust the clouds. It blends perfectly well. So we won't waste time in this. So the next thing it needs to do is to blur the um look for that blur effect, the rectangle on the extended that of the page, this one, this one, look for it and place it to the front of this, place it to the front of this, copy it, place it to the front of this, adjust it, just keep it like that. One should be above, one should be a little bit below. So guys, <laughs> I readjusted, <laughs> readjusted at least got something similar to what I have from my um um main image. So you can see it the what's it called? Okay, yeah, I just kept on readjusting, moving this to right to left. So I think I actually noticed some of um, um, of the things that made this tutorial a bit different. So we're going to work on that real quick. So you can see this lens, this blur effect here, the one at this side of the Coca-Cola. I think we need to adjust that a little bit to the, yes, let's move this down a little bit. Let's move it down. So you can see it's touching that plane from the main design. Yes, this is it. So at least it can cover this part of the part where there is no clouds. So I'll just or let's let's just be touching the design at least. So after that, I also noticed that we we needed to add um, there's another blur effect. We're going to add at the front of the Coca Cola, which we didn't do. So um, this the main the one the rectangle one that comes out on the page. So this is it. I'll just place this here. Yes, you can see it. You can see this is actually helping us to you know work on something. So I'll just place this here the way I've seen it like this. I'll copy it, duplicate it, and maybe move this all the way to the top a little bit or a little bit to the down here so i'll move this to the back the two to the back and i'll place this to the front of the coca-cola so i'll move this going to the front of the coca-cola going to the front of the coca-cola going to the front of the coca-cola yes this is it yes this is it yes this is it so i'll lock this yeah so now you can see that there's a little bit of a little transformation there let me disable the layers and you see what exactly i'm talking about let's do this now just be watching closely so you can see, you can see this, it helped us to, you know, cover those areas. I actually forgot about that. I actually forgot about that. So you can see what it did. Okay, sorry about this. You can see what it did. So at least it, so just make sure, like I said, we are just, yeah, okay with your own taste. Let's just be okay with your own taste, whatever you have, be okay with it. So I, now I'll just um, do this for the first two blur effect that is at the front. So I'll take it down a bit. Okay, yes, I think I'm okay with this. Yes, I'll take it down a bit. Then I'll enable my text. Okay, yes, this is it. I'll place this all the way to the front. So yes, this is it. I'll place this all the way to the front. So at least we got something that is actually similar to what we had in front. We, ha we have something that is actually similar to what we have in front, yes. This is not bad, but we tried our best. <laughs> this is not bad, but we tried our best. So um, you can work on a few adjustments yourself. Let's not take um, all the whole time in the world for just to create this tutorial. Let's jump into the next thing which we have here. Save your design as an image and you know if you follow me i'm going to go to pscc to add this um glowing effect you can see at the side you can see that this is a bit glittering and whatever so just do that save your design and i'll see you guys right now in pscc so we are in pscc i'm actually not supposed to be mentioning again how you can actually select your file click on this plus icon click on um, photo library so you locate the design wherever it is locate it and select it let me just use what i've actually done before yes so you can see it you can see this so to let's import our our uh, lens flare from this tutorial let's work on that real quick so after importing your design like this after importing your design like this you click on um the plus icon here you, you, you are looking for the lens flare now you click on photo layers then wherever your lens flare is click on photo library wherever your lens flare is here you just locate it you should be download or telegram or whatever just look at that and i'll do that real quick so this is it i'll click on add so after clicking on that on add i'll increase the size for this i'll increase the size for this okay let's just be okay like this i'll click on check mark icon here so after clicking on that i would um hold on i will click on the fx at the top here i'll select the first option this last option photos and i'll click on this first option here i'll reduce this all the way to okay let's see 70 okay 50 let me just go to 50 okay 53 let's just leave it at that so after doing that for that click on this icon here Click on this icon here and select the blend mode. We'll be using screen for this, so you can see. So you can see that from this edge area. Sorry about this. From this edge area, you can see this um the background edges. So edges. So we'll work on that now. You click on the okay. Go back to FX. Go back to FX. Go to basic Gaussian blur. Then I'll increase this all the way to 
I'll take this all the way to the end. Yeah, this is this. I'll click on check mark icon. So I'll duplicate this um, effect now. This let's play. I'll click on this plus icon. I'll click on duplicate. Let's just do it three times. Okay, that's okay. I'll lock this two. This two that we just did. I'll select this one here. The one at the, the second layer. Okay, sorry about this. I'll click on this icon at the top here. This one here. And I'll click on transform. So now I can move the move it anywhere I want. So I think I actually position one. Yes, where these people are already. So just put one close to them here. So that place can be glittering a bit. Click on OK. Go to the next one. Enable the layer. Go to this icon at the top. Click on transform. Move this. I think I can't even remember where I did this again. Let's just just keep on. This is your own taste now. Okay, just adjust here. Okay, with whatever you have um, seen. Adjust here. Okay, with that. I'll just keep it this here. Okay, I think that is okay. The last one was here. I'll click on this. Click on transform. I'll move this away to this part here. Yes, the last one was here. So once you do that, just make sure the design is moderate. Don't let it don't allow it to be too much. Just make sure it's moderate and it's okay. You can actually reduce your opacity for the for this um effects. So I actually did that in mind. So click on any of the layers you want, click on the layers, click on this icon here, then click on you can see the opacity, just reduce this, just reduce this to your own taste. I'm just showing you how you can actually add the lens flare. It's actually like this too, but if you want to reduce anyone, just do that. So once you are done doing that, you click on done. You click on save. So once you've um, click on done and save, you wait for it to do its work. So you can you can okay. This is it. Click on the second icon, the first icon here. Then click on save to gallery. Then once you select PNG, you select your main image, which is the image at the front here. So um, I selected that. Then click on OK. So once you click on OK, it's going to save to your own um your main gallery. So that is it, guys. That is it, guys. I hope you found you found this helpful. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell for more. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.